And so when we come at it from Oracle, we looked at the Cerner infrastructure and our focus now is to build a brand new EMR, the EHR of the future. This is an EMR that is going to, to have artificial intelligence embedded at the core layer. And so it allows providers to use automation, to use AI as a tool to help them reduce a lot of the manual burden. It also gives them the opportunity to use AI to help them in clinical decision support. Now, I'm the first one to say AI is not going to replace the provider, not mm -hmm. at all, but it is a tool. It's a, it's a great tool for them, right? If you think about it, we like to say that the EMR, instead of being a, mm -hmm. right, a record of information, it is now a system of intelligence. And it's almost like having an assistant, not a, an, an administrative assistant, but more like your best resident at your, at your side. So you can ask it questions like, tell me what's the recommended dosage for this? What are the interactions? Those types of things that a lot of times providers are having to look up, they're having to recall. And things are happening so fast in medicine. There's so much innovation going on that you need to have that information at your fingertips, whether you're at a, a big, large academic health center or you're in a small rural facility. We want to also bring more tools to the table that help actually lift quality of care and so that we have more consistency and quality no matter what setting you're in. So I would say that's one of our, our ma major focuses. And then that first one is around reducing burden. And I think we've already started to see in the market a lot of ambient listening tools where you can go in and listens to your conversation and for the provider generates the note. But what's even more exciting is now take it from there. They could do autonomous coding and AI can actually conduct the entire workflow that makes the doctor be able to focus on what doctors are best doing, right? Which is diagnosing and figuring out the treatment plan, mm -hmm. not having to do all this mundane work. So we hope by reducing a lot of the, the burden, I would say the administrative burden for doctors and for nurses, it gives them more time with patients. And that really helps address some of the access issues that we're having. It's kind of getting hard to make a doctor's appointment these days. Mm -hmm. And then secondarily, I think we help the workforce. You're hearing that people are retiring early and they're frustrated because of all this burden. And I think this will help bring back the joy to the practice of medicine. So that's our, that's our overall goal.